okay, we got our setup here. Um, there's a compass. And there's LCD screen. They're both sharing the same SD, the serial data line and the serial clock line here. Um, I have a few things. So, this is the address for the compass and for the. Uh, This is the serial. This is the calibration. Where's my serial? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay. So, on the serial, the, this is the address for the, the LCD screen. Um, so, uh, the main issue that I was having, um, these um, so on Sunday when I lost the initial compass that I bought from you um, or the yeah, I, so I bought the camp the compass from you on Wednesday but I was I sent you the email with the other one on the windy day it was windy on Sunday and I was out with the GPS um, trying to get a reading for the um, for the la latitude and longitude, right? And um, the wind blew it away, I already told you, but um, when I was messing around with that, uh, I ended up changing the frequent, the well, the bods, right? For the communication. Um, and uh, when I was using the GPS, I was, I was just uh, messing with it and uh, I kept it at a specific, I think I went like, I changed it to something else and I kept it at that same uh, setting and I completely forgot to change it and I'm not used to using this uh, compiler. It's been a while and when I first started learning programming, it was this compiler, which I really, honestly, um, hardly remember um, because I was so new at it. Um, and today I was uh, speaking with someone, and um, luckily I was able to share my, my the program that I used to scan in the um, address for the the I two C address for the LCD screen, and um, it turned out like they had the same basically the same code, and I was just kind of like, well, what's going on, and. Um, we ended up meeting on the teams, and I shared my screen, <laughs> and I forgot to change that, um, and it was just giving me a, an awful time. I was getting really frustrated um, as to why this wasn't working, and it was just that. Um, I'm just silly. I honestly didn't think of looking there, um, but I'm glad that, you know, we got to, to like, um, you know, just, it was just perplexing. <laughs> um, there is a library that I downloaded for this, right? Um, it comes with its own calibration for the compass. Um, this guy right here, I basically went in and, um, I want to pull it up. I can. There's a heading. Where's my calibrator? Hmm. Ah. Uh, well. I ended up going in and calibrating um, the vectors for uh, the accelerometer and the magnometer. Um, where? So. This. This is not it, but this is the um, the heading, and it does all the like. Where where is it? Oh, here, there. Okay, so these are the vectors, the min and the max, right? And these values, I had to use the program that was that came with the library. 
And it basically... Um, here we go. So those are the examples I came with the library. Um, and I just came in here, did the calibration, um, took my, my, my data for my compass, which was this, my max and min vectors, and I basically put them in here. And I think the heading, it's supposed to, um... Doesn't do calculations. It, it oh, it turns yeah, it turns returns the angular difference in horizontal plane, um, which we want because we want to know when we're moving and you know X Y Z or whatever. Um, so we went ahead and did that and we completely saved it, and then um, we came into the serial, which is like the main program for the compass. Um, which prints out the accelerometer and the magnometer um, readings. They originally had it set to, to this formatting um, in decimal, right? Uh, I changed it to this for the purpose of trying to make it fit on this LCD screen. Here's the problem I'm running into. So um, I basically... Uh, went back in to the printing to the LCD screen. We changed a few things. These values for the accelerometer and the magnometer, it looks like they're being held by this variable called report, which is like an 80. That Those are 80 characters. Um, I, I put that comment array holding the accelerometer and magnometer readings in this array. And basically, um, so I'm going to show you, I commented out that. Um, that vector, which is this, the accelerometer and magnometer readings, right? Um, from printing in the serial to printing on the screen. Oh, here, let me get rid of that, that's wrong. And, um, let's see here. So I'll just show you what it is and let's just compile it. Um, and is it, what's it doing here? Oh, 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 look, it's acting funny. Oh, I don't know what's up with it, but, um, so exp uh, you could see the accelerometer readings are here, right? Um, they're here. The thing is, even with modifying it, you know, um, to, to fit that format, I can't, I can't remember exactly. I know that it was like the spacing. It's, it, it's a specific type of spacing. I, I just remember that. So I'm like, okay, let's just go smaller. Um, it, I only have one row. I don't have two rows for this so that I could um, try to get the magnometer readings at the bottom. So that's one thing. And I got this from the department. And um, I just want y'all to know, like, uh, here it is. We're moving it. it. It changes the readings, which is great. I want to say it's two per the reading. Anyhow, anyway, um... So I can't get it to print completely in here because I don't have a second row. So that's one issue. And I don't know if I can talk to the department and probably get um, one that actually has two columns. Although I already like soldered the crap out of this one. <laughs> um, that's one thing. And then um, we're just going to go ahead and comment that out. And, uh, hold on, shit, I can't do this. With <laughs> um, 
All right, cool. So we commented out the actual array to print out to the LCD screen, so it's not gonna lo no longer print there. It's gonna go back to printing to the um, serial monitor, so it's compiled. Uh, for the purpose of submission, right? And uh, there go our readings. Um, and there's nothing going on here because obviously I changed it. Uh, you should change, right, with, uh, with, uh, with our movement here. And they do. Um, Um, but, uh, so it, I can get it to print here. The thing is, I don't have two, two rows, um, so I need to speak to someone regarding this. All right.